Bubble have finally lifted the lid on their much anticipated native app builder to go alongside their already amazing web creation platform. Here are my takeaways from their keynote presentation. Firstly, the mobile app builder is going to sit right alongside the existing web app builder, allowing your app to integrate and make use of existing logic and data. So very familiar services. Bubble started building the native app builder in October 2023. And as of today, we're on October 1st, 2024. They're beginning to roll out invites to the beta for people on their waiting list. We'll put a link down in the description. The native app builder will look very familiar to anyone who's been building no code web apps with Bubble. And they gave some very exciting demos and previews of the sort of layouts that can be really easily and really quickly achieved, such as a non scrollable, a scrollable list, and a section list, as well as making use of some native mobile features such as gestures like tap, long press, and swipe, and providing some pre built UI elements such as a navigation tab down at the bottom of your app, stacks, modals, and bottom sheets. Penultimately, it's very clear to tell that Bubble have put a lot of care and attention into this, that they've made it a very easy process where there was no mention of Xcode. You would literally be able to export your app straight from Bubble and publish it onto the app stores, whether that's iOS or the Google Play Store. Lastly, their roadmap of where they're going, they want to add in plugin development using React Native, debugging and more native features. I mean, this is of course the whole appeal of building an app for a mobile device is making use of the amazing hardware that we now get on mobile devices such as Face ID and Dark Mode. But I'd like to see that expanded. I'd like to see things like uh, native location using GPS. You would need that if you're building like an Uber clone. Or uh, what about uh, NFC, which is you know, the near field communication technology, which would be great for checking into events or, or kind of tap to transfer data, that sort of thing. And lastly, I mean, remember when iOS, the app store first came out and there was that amazing like beer drinking app, something that makes use of accelerometers, even if it's just like a shake to undo. One other thing, in fact, they made this bold statement that it is offline out of the box. Now, it remains unclear what that means about reading, writing, and creating data in the database, but this is going to be a vast improvement over anyone who's had to go through the, frankly, difficult process of publishing a bubble web app as a native app using a wrapper. So there you have it. That's everything that we've learned so far about the Bubble Native App Builder. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If you've got any ideas of what you would like to see next with the Bubble App Builder, please also put that in a comment.